in this operating system class we will see the firewalling to protect system and network uh, from 5th unit and in this class we are going to see the firewall that is what is mean by firewall network firewall personal firewall application proxy firewall xml firewall and system call firewalls first let us see what is firewall firewall is a computer appliance or network that sits between the trusted and the untrusted network okay here uh, the this is the firewall this is a router otherwise that will be sit between the uh, trusted lan and the untrusted one wide area network which is otherwise called as internet it may be an internet okay so the trusted lan will be connected to untrusted internet through firewall here the network firewall that limits the network access between two security domains and this firewall will monitor and logs all the connections logs means record and it can limit the connections based on that is the firewall will limit the connections based on the source or destination address the source or destination port or the direction of the connection so based on these things the firewall will limit the connections a network firewall in our system this is the network this is the network firewall this lies between the company's computer and other networks okay the company's computers will connect to the internet only through this firewall all other domains also through only the firewall okay here the network can separate the network into multiple domains the first one is internet this is untrusted untrusted domain and second one is semi trusted network so this is semi trusted demilitarized zone semi trusted domain and the company's computer this is trusted one trusted or secured network company's computers are secured network in this network firewall connections are allowed from the internet to uh, dmz computers that is connections are allowed to internet to dmz computers and from the company's computer to the internet see company's computer to the internet okay these two connections are allowed but not allowed from internet or dmz computers to the company's computers okay see uh, this communication is not possible those are not possible and sometimes controlled communication controlled communications may be allowed between dmz uh, and one or more companies computer so controlled communication is sometimes possible but not the dmz computers can access all the companies computer okay here the web server on the dmz may need to query a database server on the corporate network okay within firewall the dmz systems are unable to access the company's computer okay dmz computers are unable to access the company's computer this access is not possible the next one is personal firewall um, it is a software or any application that can be included in the personal computer okay Uh, rather than limiting the communication between the security domains like the network firewall it limits the communication to and from the particular host a set of host uh, are identified and the communication between those hosts will be very much limited okay this uh, user could add a personal firewall so that we can easily protect from the trojan horse the next one is application proxy firewall uh, it understand the protocols across the network uh, so so many different protocols are used in the network for communication and this firewall will understand all those protocols okay for example we can take the smtp protocol that is simple mail transfer protocol which is used for mail transfer okay we an application proxy accept the connection from smtp server and then initiates the connection between the system to smtp server right and this application proxy server can monitor the traffic 
as it forwards the messages and it will watch for disabling uh, illegal comments and attempt to exploit bugs and so on. So, these are the uh, working principle of application proxy firewall. The next one is XML firewall. This is designed specific for this XML protocol. Okay, that is XML means extensible markup language. Uh, this particular firewall has a specific purpose for analyzing the XML traffic and blocking disallowed or malformed XML. Okay, XML is used for bulk data transfer between two systems. The next one is system call firewall. It lies between the application and the kernel and it will monitor all the system call execution. Up to this we have seen the firewalling to protect the system and network. And here we have seen uh, what is firewall and various different types of firewalls like network firewall, personal firewall, application proxy firewall, XML firewall and system call firewalls. And uh, in the next class we will see another important topic from operating system. Thank you.